Today we'll be using a deck building tool by YugiTuber Flip Flip Shift. Please support this channel because they're doing some amazing things. This tool can help us determine how likely we are to draw cards we want in our opening hand. Using this tool, we will find out which cards to add to our deck to increase our consistency, and which cards to remove to reduce bricks. If you're familiar with hypergeometric distributions, then you know there's some things they can't do. Using our simulator, we will be able to do even more complex operations and get more accurate results. This tool will simulate your opening hand, running thousands of trials, then spit out the numbers of successes. To set it up, go to the GitHub page, there's also a link in the description, then click on the Yu-Gi-Oh! sim.py. Click Raw, and then select all of the code, and then copy it. Then head back to the GitHub page. Click on the link that takes you to the online Python compiler. Remove the code from the compiler and replace it with the Yu-Gi-Oh! sim code. Scroll near to the top where it says deck size and hand size. You can edit your deck size here. If you're going first or second, your hand size will be 5 or 6. Going down to input cards, this is where we will write cards from our deck. The simulator is currently using a falafel deck as an example. Delete the cards in between the quotation marks and also delete the code and input possibilities here. The program is case sensitive and you can't leave spaces in your card names. So now let's assume our deck has three summoner monks. So we write monk three. Going down to possibilities, we can write a formula using any of the following syntax. I will use the first as an example. 1 plus monk. Because it's case sensitive, I write monk exactly how I did before, otherwise it will throw an error. This formula tells us the probability of having one or more summoner monks in our opening hand. We run the code and it comes out to around 33%. If a card searches for another card, you can input the card after. We add 3 leaf fish to the deck, then we add 3 beautiful princesses, which searches for leaf fish. We can also add extenders, and if we want to know the probability of drawing both Leaf Fish and the extender in our opening hand, we can use the AND operator. Leaf Fish and Extender. Let's assume our Leaf Fish and Extender combo requires having one Coelacanth in the deck. We can add Coelacanth to our deck, and then add the syntax one or less Coelacanth to our combo. We can delete one or more monk from our formula since we won't need that anymore. Summoner monk paired with a spell can also give us the same combo to get Coelacanth on the field. So we can add spells to our deck, then add a formula, monk, and spells, and at least one Coelacanth in the deck. Some spells like Ready Fusion and Foolish Burial can be used as extenders for Leaf Fish. So we add spell monsters to our deck. And then we add a formula for both Leaf Fish and Summoner Monk. Leaf Fish and Spell Monsters. And one Coelacanth in the deck. And then we do the same for Summoner Monk. Monk and Spell Monsters. And one Coelacanth in the deck. We still have more cards to add, but for now, I run the program and it comes out to a 70% success. A deck with more than 70% of drawing a winning hand is considered consistent. I can tweak the deck by adding more extenders or adding more cards that search for Leaf Fish, like Piri Reese Map. I run the program and we have exceeded our deck limit. So now I'll have to remove some cards. I take off some extenders and run the program and we hit 78%. To improve our consistency, we can also use the power of draw cards like Desires, Prosperity, Extravagance, Upstart, and Duality. They are all hard-coded into the program, so all I have to do is just write their names. I add three upstarts to the deck, and run the program, and we hit 80%. We still haven't squeezed in our other cards, like hand traps and tuners. I will share a link in the description of a big fish coelacanth deck that still has an impressive 80% success probability. We can increase the number of trials to make the program more accurate, though it will take longer. But 10,000 trials is accurate enough. Next, to the run program command, you have the option to share your code. You can set how long before the link expires, and you can copy your link here. Up here you can save your code to your computer. 
there's undo and redo commands if you make any mistakes in your code. There's a dark mode option up here. The about site will give you details on shortcuts. And in the settings, you have many customizations. And that's all folks. I hope you find this tool as useful as I did. Feel free to share how consistent your deck is with a link to your code in the comment section. There's an even more advanced calculator you can check out at Flip Flip Ships YouTube, or check out their Discord where you can share ideas and contribute to the code. So everyone, goodbye and have a wonderful day.